In 2019, not long after SpaceX's gigantic Falcon Heavy rocket successfully launched off into space, it looked as though the excitement around Elon Musk's even larger Starship rocket overshadowed it. Heavy has been out of the spotlight for quite some time, but it is once again generating headlines because SpaceX intends to deploy the rocket for the first time in several years in order to place two playloads into orbit for the United States Space Force. So, why has it taken three years for the Falcon Heavy rocket to launch? And how is SpaceX preparing for this? Welcome to Smarter Tech, where we dig deeper on what's happening in our technology world and mostly all about SpaceX news. And without further ado, let's get started! After more than three years since its previous flight, a military spokesperson revealed that the Falcon Heavy rocket, which has 28 engines, would launch again on October 28 from Kennedy Space Center in Florida on a delayed national security mission for the United States Space Force. Following the recent launch of a Falcon 9 rocket and a Dragon capsule carrying four astronauts to the International Space Station from Launch Complex 39A at Kennedy Space Center, the Falcon Heavy rocket mission, which has been designated USS F-44, is expected to be the next launch from that facility. The Falcon Heavy, which is a different design from the Falcon 9 and features three Falcon rocket boosters joined together to improve the launcher's overall thrust, which will be launched from Pad 39A by ground workers working for SpaceX. But note that the Falcon Heavy's design differs from that of Falcon 9. However, the Space Force has not formally declared the launch timing for the United States Space Force mission USS F-44. This will be the fourth flight of a SpaceX Falcon Heavy rocket and the first flight since June 2019. It is predicted that the launch will take place during the daytime hours of the early morning. The significant amount of time that has passed between Falcon Heavy launches can be attributed to payload delays. The USS F-44 mission was scheduled to take off in late year of 2020. However, there have been problems with the Space Force payload that was due to fly on board the rocket, which has caused the launch to be pushed back by nearly two years. A military spokesman told Spaceflight Now that the issues with the USS F-44 payload had been resolved, but the representative did not provide any other details. The Space Force has not provided any information on the payload that will be sent into orbit by the Falcon Heavy rocket during the USS F-44 mission. However, on the USS F-44 mission, the microsatellite Tetra-1 is scheduled to be one of the payloads that are launched into space. Before we continue, hold up! If you're watching us for the first time, make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you can enjoy your future videos while getting updated. Getting back to the topic, in the call for bids for the launch of the USS F-44, the Air Force urged possible launch service providers to operate on the assumption that the combined mass of the two payloads is less than 8,200 pounds, which is about 3.7 tons. The Tetra-1 satellite by itself would only account for a small part of the total mass. It is planned that the Falcon Heavy will place the satellites that are part of the USS F-44 mission into a geosynchronous orbit at a high height. The rocket's top stage will undergo many combustions in order to raise the satellites to an altitude of about 22,000 miles above the Earth's surface. The USS F-44 launch will be one of the most difficult launches that SpaceX has attempted yet. The flight profile of the upper stage will have coastlines that last for more than five hours in between burns. During the most recent mission carried out by the Falcon Heavy, which was a demonstration flight backed by the Air Force, the rocket's upper stage successfully performed four burns over the length of three and a half hours. In order to complete the Space Test Program mission in June 2019, which required 24 satellite payloads to be arranged into three distinct orbits, complex orbital maneuvers were required. Moreover, before the military entrusted the launcher with more significant and pricey operational national security payloads on subsequent flights, they conducted tests to evaluate Falcon Heavy's capabilities and those of its Merlin upper stage engine. And in order to complete the USSF-44 mission, SpaceX will use three newly manufactured rockets. 
the launch facility in Florida, which was located in Florida, was responsible for receiving all of the rockets of the USS F-44 mission. The Space Force claims that because of the challenging launch profile, there won't be enough space propellant left over to retrieve the center core of the Falcon Heavy. According to a Space Force's Space Systems Command spokesperson, the rocket's core stage will be used for the USS F-44. The rocket's two side boosters will return to virtually simultaneous landings at SpaceX Recovery Zone at the Cape Canaveral Space Force Station. This is a divergence from what was previously proclaimed by the Space Force. A military official in 2021 revealed that the two side boosters on the Falcon Heavy that were used for the USS F-44 mission were supposed to land on two SpaceX drone ships that were sailing in the Atlantic Ocean on their way to the downrange. According to Tom Ochinero, Vice President of Commercial Sales for SpaceX, in addition to the busy schedule of Falcon 9 missions, which fly at an average rate of more than once per week, SpaceX estimates six launches of the Falcon Heavy over the next 12 months. Moreover, last week, the Viasat revealed that the first of three internet broadband satellites that are part of the Viasat 3 series are scheduled to launch on a Falcon Heavy toward geosynchronous orbit, which is planned to take place before the end of the year. However, industry insiders claim that the initial Viasat 3 launch, which had already been postponed owing to production problems with the satellite and payload as well as issues with the supply chain, may be delayed until the beginning of 2023 at the the earliest. According to the military, the launch into geosynchronous orbit of the Space Force's USSF-67 mission, which will be similar to the USSF-44 mission, is currently scheduled for the month of January. While the launch of USSF-52, the second Space Force Falcon Heavy satellite delivery mission is presently planned to take place during the second quarter of 2023, between the 1st of April and the 30th of June. One of the many missions that are scheduled to be carried out by the Falcon Heavy in the next 12 months is the launch of the hefty Jupiter-3 commercial broadband satellite, which EchoStar and Hughes network systems will operate. It was previously intended for the Psyche asteroid probe to launch on a Falcon Heavy in the month of August this year. However, software testing concerns have stopped the launch from occurring. The decision on whether or not to attempt to launch the Psyche spacecraft while it is still attached to a Falcon Heavy rocket during the subsequent launch window in July 2023 will be made by NASA in the coming weeks. Right present, NASA is looking into several ways to correct software errors. According to the terms of a contract for $255 million that NASA granted to the company in July, the Nancy Grace Roman Space Telescope will be propelled into space in 2026 by a Falcon Heavy rocket developed by SpaceX. Once SpaceX has won the launch contract with Roman, the company will be allowed to fly as many as 13 Falcon Heavy rockets. The launch of the first two components for NASA's proposed Gateway Mini Space Station to orbit the Moon is one of them. The other two are the USSF-44, USSF-67, and USSF-52 missions for the United States Space Force, which are scheduled to launch later this year and in 2023. Moreover, NASA and SpaceX have a contract for the Falcon Heavy to launch two commercial resupply flights to the Gateway later in the 2020s and NOAA's GOES-U geostationary weather satellite in 2024. Both of these missions are scheduled to take place in the latter half of the 20s. 20s and early 2024 respectively. It is not apparent what has transpired with a gateway logistics contract at this time. Even though the deal was signed in 2020, NASA has not yet given SpaceX permission to begin making planning for the gateway resupply voyages. And it's a wrap, what do you think about this Falcon Heavy launch? Do you think that SpaceX can keep the estimated times for its future launch? Comment down below. Also, please leave a like and subscribe. Don't forget to turn on the notification bell for more amazing videos. Goodbye!